Now many of you may have one of these in your shack. They are pretty common and antenna changeover switch. Now this one has been running two rigs onto one antenna feed. Now one of the problems is that sometimes these switches can create a bit of noise on receive. It's sort of like a frying noise and signals don't quite come through very well and it's going up and down, uh, it's breaking up. Anyway, one of the things I found was that on the spring copper strips inside the switch there is a riveted contact piece on the end of it. Now that sometimes can become loose and what I did was I put the soldering iron in behind it and I sweated some solder onto it and made it so that it was a really good contact and you may be able to see in there where I've done exactly that. Now one of the other things of course is this switch is now sitting in the middle and you'll see that both the rigs that are connected onto these two outlets are both earthed in the centre which is excellent if you're going out for the day just or not using your rig leave it sitting in the middle and it will earth both of the rigs that are connected to that. Now the other thing with this is that this switch suffered a lightning hit and you may be able to just see in there a little black mark just uh, in that center contact and what that was is that the switch was sitting in the center both the earths were rigged and there was a small spark gap between the center which is the antenna and the earth which is the switch of course is earth now i have a earth from the switch back to the main earth buzz bar and i have all the equipment uh, earth to a common point. Earthing is super important to keep your noise level down. Um, if you've got it uh, a, a good hard earth and keeping all of your earths all connected up I find that's the best way because you don't end up with an earth loop. Now we have uh, out in the country here we have our neighbors and also ourselves have electric fences. Now having them all on that same earth uh, platform means that nothing there's no earth difference between the, uh, the earths of the electric fence and the equipment and the mains and, and all the rest of it. Another thing I do too, we have an iron roof on the house and I have that earthed as well. Now, uh, it may be getting a bit carried away, but I find that it keeps the noise level down for sure. And things like my inverters, we run on solar power and by putting capacitors on the input and output to the controllers and to the, on the inverters. Also making sure the earthing system is consistent again with just like I said and that all helps to keep your noise level down. My noise level here on 40 meters is zero. A uh, tiny little bit on 80, maybe a strength 2 or 3, uh, 160 meters, a little bit more than that. But it it is, you know, you can work at it. There's quite a few things that you can do to reduce your noise level. Of course, there are noise reducing devices which can take the noise 180 degrees out of phase and various manufacturers uh, make these devices. MFJ does a 1026. Works well, but generally one source. And if you've got multiple sources coming in of interference, that creates a real challenge, that's for sure. Now, there are other things that you can do like software-defined radio, remote site software-defined radios. You can put your computer on there. So there are things you can do, but you certainly have to work at it. So there we go. That's an antenna switch and a little bit about noise.